you know where it is? Where are we going? Oh! No! <laughs> the clock Get the zero. fuck out of here. Super hey! Beer Bros! Welcome back to the Kong Quest. Kong's Quest. Everyone, welcome Norm to the show. Surprise guest. Hi there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ted or Bradley, you both need to put in an insane hype trailer for Norm and then just cue to him saying hi there. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. And his name is Norm. Hi there. Norm, thanks for being here, man. Hey, no problem. So Glad Norm I could uh, sit in on this adventure with uh, probably my favorite Donkey Kong Country game. Dude, it's objectively the best one, even though I haven't played the second one. Yeah. Or the third one. And actually, when we were loading this up, I was commenting on how great this looks on the Wii U, because we're playing this on the Wii U right now. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, bright. So I've been doing a pretty killer playthrough of this. Uh, I've been is this Glimmer's it. Galleon? It is. Uh, we're replaying it because I missed the bonus stage. There's a bonus stage I missed in this one. I forget where it is. I'm trying to remember where it is. The you... one at the beginning? No. The one near the end? Yes. It's uh one of those blowfish. Uh -huh. And some bananas that like with an arrow pointing to the right. Oh, I see. So it's towards the end of the level then. Yeah, but instead of following the arrow, you're supposed to go down and then you find one of those like fish. And then you go down and you go to like this crate. Sure, okay. I'm 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 gonna be of no help, by the way, because oh, I haven't played I, this game in years. I know this game like the back of my hand. There's just some some levels and some moments where I just Completely forget. Yeah. Um, usually I call that Gerard syndrome, but that's that's a whole. Gerard syndrome is a myth. It's a it's real. It's, it's a myth. Kind of like the Mandela effect. Yeah. <laughs> Mandela effect is you, real. You guys will get that one in a few in a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. But yeah, we're we're going for a full completionist because this is in fact my favorite game of all time. Gerard, did you know that in Japan? Really? Yeah. This game is this this level is called Diving in the Darkness. Diving in the Darkness. A little bit more explanatory of what's going on. <laughs> Not only That's that, true. but it's also super like kind of morbid. Diving the, in the darkness. You some, mean some Kingdom you just Hearts mean like shit it, right yeah. there. Kyrie, Kyrie in the darkness. <laughs> Heartless. Yeah, but in this game, the camera is actually good. Damn. Oh! I know it's cheap Where's shot. The Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, so you're saying don't go up there. So there's an arrow pointing up, and then you don't want to do that. You want to go down. Maybe I'm not at that part yet. It's like right near the end. It's okay. literally like an arrow made of bananas that you're going to see. This is genius right here, this little area. The arrow's telling you exactly, or the banana's telling you where to hide. Yeah, it's tight. It's brilliant. Do, 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 I still do, like do, do, do. would rather play any on the ground level, but are are underwater levels universally hated in video games? I don't know. Like I don't know. Like, why why are they continued to be made? I wonder what the Japanese perspective is. You know? Yeah. I wonder if like they're like, oh, this is a fun like change of pace. <laughs> I think it's down here. Yeah. Ah, here it is. Found it. Thank you, Alex. Because I was watching uh, Game Center CX and he was like, oh, a water level. And I was like, you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get all excited for that? <laughs> yeah, like, this is just worse. <laughs> the song is like, I feel like this would be like, you know who would probably like this song? Hmm. Is the genie from Aladdin. I think he'd be yeah. a big fan of that song. Yeah, totally. That's probably why I love it so much, because I love Aladdin. Do you feel like you identify most with Aladdin or with the genie? Or, Me? Yeah, or Jafar, or... Probably Jafar. The probably tiger, the genie. Jasmine. The genie. I couldn't remember the princess's name. Oh, I love this level. Check this out. Princess beginning, Jasmine? So beginning the level, Alex, check this yeah. out. See, it's like, oh yeah, let's go to the right. No. We are going this way instead. No. And because we're going to do a little bit of this. Boot it up. Oh boy, here we go. Perfection. 
Perfect! So, this is called the Crockhead Clamber in English, right? And that's the DK coin! Uh, in French, it's called Cruncher Battle. Makes sense. <laughs> it's called what? Cruncher Battle. Cruncher Battle, okay. In Spanish, it's called Croc Rise. All right, fine. <laughs> in German, Swamp of Madness. Getting a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the calm swamp. it down a little bit. Japan, Stagnant Croc Jump. <laughs> <laughs> stagnant Croc Jump. Seems like Japan has the best uh, ah, level shit. names here. It's it's it goes back and forth. Sometimes I like the Spanish <laughs> ones. So Norm, uh, I don't know if you watch Beer Bros at all or know what our shtick is, but uh, our shtick is that Alex does trivia while I play the games. Um, at least for these classic games where I know for the, the classic fuck stuff. I'm yeah, about. for the newer stuff, we both kind of go in blind or just try and enjoy it and do research afterwards. Yeah. But um, I, figured... I have noticed that from watching some Super Beer Brothers. Oh! And then random shit with our mouths. Yeah, I basically take then. care of the trivia and the having of the ear infections. Shit! Gerard yeah. Syndrome! <laughs> at the same place again! Dude. So, so, should we define what Gerard Syndrome actually is? So Yeah. It's the same thing as the definition of madness. It's like... <laughs> so just just dying over and over in the same spot? Yeah. Usually that's what it is. But I'm just telling it's, you... It's, and usually it's like a mundane part. Like something that's like like something not that's that bad. Like something that's not super hard. Like I'll do like a really hard thing, no problem, and then like get to the small task and get rocked. All I'm saying is, if you think that's a problem unique to you, forget about it. It's a line from my favorite movie, Mickey Blue Eyes. With Hugh Grant and Robert De Niro. Just kidding. Not my favorite. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna really question. Is that Astrophid, really your favorite yeah. movie? I, I, don't I don't know don't what think to Robert, believe from here. I actually your... don't think Robert De Niro's in Mickey Blue Eyes. I think I'm confusing Mickey <laughs> Blue Eyes and Analyze This. I think you are actually. <laughs> which has Robert De Niro and Billy Crystal in it. How about Analyze That, the sequel? The sequel to Analyze This that everybody wanted. <laughs> the movie that was so good they made another. Nailed it. Thank you, man. Love the sneakers on that spider. He has to right? wear them, or he's gonna get stuck in the. Uh, yeah, it's legit. Whatever the wood. That's the that's the reasoning behind it. I don't know. Do you got a better reason why a fucking spider would wear shoes? Could probably run faster. If I was a shoemaker and somebody was like, "Yo, will you make me eight of the same type of shoe?" And you were like, "What's it for?" And and I was like, "For my spider." You'd be like, "Get the fuck out of my store." Fuck you! What are you talking about? I don't. I, so are we getting into like the the, the economy of, of this kingdom? I'm just where saying. King K. If rule? anybody said that shit to me, I would be like, "You're crazy! Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> Those guys have bandanas on that yeah. I never sure noticed do. this whole time. Yeah, they sure do. And they slide. Look at that. Slide mm -hmm. down. They got their shit figured out. Warp. <laughs> So in this I'll, game, Donkey Kong has been kidnapped? Yes, he's yes. been kidnapped. In this in this game, Donkey Kong plays the role that was played by a pile of bananas in the last game. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's just insulting. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the next one, they were like, fuck the other character that you like. Now it's going to be the character we made up in the last game and a baby that's, that's as big as a man. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty Kong. Not that I don't love Dixie. I love playing as Dixie, but Dixie's great. Like, I love her mechanics, but it's like, I don't have as much emotional attachment to Dixie Kong as I do to Diddy or Donkey. Fun fact, this is the first level I played ever of Donkey Kong Country 2. The very first level. Why this was This was the one? one when you, like, loaded the save? Yeah, I loaded a save. I, I told the story uh, an episode or two ago about how uh, Diddy Kong's Quest was, uh, like, a game that I always wanted to own, but never did. Right. Until my mom bought it for me. Um, but the whole thing was, uh, I had a random game save on the card because I got it from Blockbuster. And so, like, imagine just playing this game for the first time and the first thing you do is jump in a fucking barrel and become a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really weird. Yeah, that is super, a weird introduction super to Super weird. Game. When you're like a 10 year old kid, you're like, why am I a snake all of a sudden? Like, I thought this game was about monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Donkey Kong? So, not a lot of <laughs> level-specific trivia, but in German, this uh, this level's called Rattle Nazaire. I don't know. Uh, Can we in, define what Nazaire means in German? 
Misere, it's got to mean misery, right? Misere translation. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Misere, that's what I said. Misere, what are we doing? Misery. Huh? In, like every language. Alright. But, that's beside the point. Because, in French, it's called Blackguard Battle. Not sure where that came from. Uh, in Spanish, it's just the same. It's, it's, uh, whatever it's called. Radies. Rattle Battle. In Japanese, Great Transformation into Ratley. <laughs> what? Great <laughs> Transformation. Into Ratley. Into Ratley. Ratley being the name of the snake. Yeah. Interesting. What's his name? Is his name Rattle? No, his name's Ratley, right? Yeah. They should they should have just used the Japanese names for all the levels. Almost every time I'm into it. Yeah, they're they're way better. They're usually German <laughs> names for stuff are also pretty crazy. Like German movies always have weird names. Like German German movies Ger American movies in German always have weird names. Beer Bros homework. Find your favorite a uh, German name for an American movie and tweet it at me. All right, let's see. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. I could be tweet wrong. Tweet at Gerard, too. And Norm. <laughs> tweet at all of us. Tag us all in the all tweet. All right, I'm going to yeah. go for this one. This could be completely wrong. I forget. I don't know if it's here. Might not be here, but... What are you looking for? Probably going to die. So yep, go, it's here. Oh, it's here. Here we go. Yo, get oh, the fuck out of here. With very that shit. good. There's one <laughs> more bonus barrel that's just like that. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Sounds like they like start to scream and then they like realize they're being loud, so they like they're trying to be quiet at the very end. Yeah. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Why best. Why they like? Oh, a snake! He can like jump really high. Best animation ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoop, 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 like the stars. It's like the Three Stooges. It's a good point. Why not a kangaroo? Yeah, or like a frog. Yeah. Well, they used frog in the first game. Yeah, yeah they just like, want to switch things up. You I know? guess. They turned the bird from a light into a, a buddy. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Charlie Brown missing the football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I can't unhear that now. Did you, even, did you even hear the noise that Radley made? Yeah. Oh. Radley has to figure something out about his nose. Like, that's not how a snake's supposed to do it. <laughs> or have... It looks like he has buck teeth and not yeah, fangs. Yeah, he's, he's got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> How's he ever going to eat something? He can't even open his mouth, it looks like. No snakes? Well, he just follows the rules. No snakes, that's okay? True. He's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to go back to my box or whatever. <laughs> Do you realize that that uh, Dixie is left-handed with a guitar in this game? Oh, whoa! Didn't even realize that. A little trivia for you. A little you trivia. Go. That's good. There you go. Rattle battles all done, but now it's time to go to Clubba's kiosk. Stop right there, you scummy squab! Step on the toll bridge, and I'll throw ye overboard. All right, we'll pay you. Black Ice Battle. Oh, this is a tough one. Black Ice Battle? They're all real tough, but... So, Norm, did you ever complete this game or, like, know anything about, like, the, the post-game content stuff? I... I don't think so. So, the bonus barrels give you, um, the Kremlin coins. And you then go to... Oh, fudge. You then go to, uh, the kiosk. And in the kiosk, you, uh, redeem 15 coins to go to a secret level. The secret level has one bonus barrel inside of it, and that bonus barrel will uh, contain a DK coin instead of a Kremlin coin. And these, and these, now, and, are, are these in every level? The the toll? Uh, all of them except for the last, uh, the what, first level. Yeah, okay. And they're all like pretty hard levels. Yeah. Uh, 
You know what game did something similar that was pretty good was uh, Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi's Yarn Land. What's it called? Wooly World? Wooly yeah, World. there it is. That was <laughs> Yarn Land. Yoshi Yarn. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the Game, game Boy, Boy version. That's the Game Boy version. <laughs> <laughs> that's what no. I was going to say. <laughs> so, uh, all right. All I've got to fall back on here is level names yet again. <laughs> uh, the Spanish, keeping it. I mean, okay, Black Ice Battle in English. Spanish, Battle on the Ice. Okay. French, Battle of the Black Ice. Okay. Uh, German. Black ice level, not super imaginative. All right. What's <laughs> Japanese, the Japanese? Bringing it home with Ice Dome Tango. Let's go. Ice Dome ice Tango? Dome they were like, tango. not only are we going to men not mention that the ice is black in this level, but we're also going to add a party element to it <laughs> in, the f in the form of, of ah, Tango. Here it is. It is a bonus level. That's true. Party. I always thought it was so weird the way Shit. that she walks like this. <laughs> Beard Bros homework, can I get some no. fan art of oh, Dixie Kong as Sindel from Mortal Kombat 3? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's good on that? Can I get that? Is Sindel in any of the other games? Is she in, like, the new Mortal Kombats? Uh, I think so. Sindel? Remember Sindel? Yeah, of course I do. Kinda looks like Elvira? Yeah. Oh, yes. Kinda looks like if Elvira became, like, the leader of like one of those like hardcore like post-apocalyptic like punk rock Got gangs. It. Yeah. Hell like yeah. If Elvira was in a stunt show. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Yo, this shoot. song though. Oh my god. Doing good. Doing good. That doing slow good. jam song. Composed by the brilliant David Wise. David Wise. Like I, it's I, crazy I walked, that like I, the I, I other like, guy from Rare is David Wise. It's like Grant and Dave. So good. I uh know Grant Kirkhope very well, but I've never met Dave. I walked by him at Magfest this past uh, past January. Got you he was being so overwhelmed by fans. I just was like, one day I'll meet you. He'll be at he'll be at Norway. Are you going to Norway, right, Norm? Yep. Norway. Go to Norway. We're gonna go. Norway. We're literally going Actually, to party with those guys. That should be the hashtag. Norway. Hashtag Norway. My, my name originates from Norway. Perfect. There you go. Man from the north. Uh, north man. Speaking north of which, man. We, we didn't pimp your channel. Guys, Gaming Historian, go fucking eat that shit up. It's so good. Gaming Historian official. Check it out. <laughs> official. Mm. <laughs> it is the Gaming... Is it the Gaming Historian or just Gaming Historian? Either one. Both are canon. <laughs> this level... That dude is buff as hell. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ramble God. Blast. This is one of the classic levels, I feel like, from this game. Yeah. Do, 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 Music, do, do, too. Do, 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 do. Ramble's Maze in Italian. Monkey Action in German. That's pretty good. Fiery Thistle in French. Ramble Breaker in Spanish. Japanese. Spiky Barrel Labyrinth. Spiky Barrel Spiky Labyrinth? Spiky Barrel Labyrinth. I think, There's, I think of all these, Monkey Action is my favorite one. They were just like, ah, fuck it. Monkey Action. Why do you think they feel the need to change the, the level names so much? Oh, because of translation issues. I don't, I don't get it. Like something that sounds awesome in English doesn't necessarily sound awesome in Japanese. That's why, like the tra the name sounds so stupid to us. But to a Japanese person, it sounds about as good as Bramble Blast does, at least probably. Sure. Uh, did you know that you can uh, listen to a remix of this game in Brawl? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. But it's weird because they actually call the song Bramble Blast in Brawl. But as we all know, if we're oh, shit. anything close to fans of retro gaming music, this song is called Sticker Brush Symphony. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This song is not called that. Check this out. Secrets! The Sticker Brush brush symphony you're thinking of is Grant Kirkhope's song. What? <clears throat> That's in the next level. Sticker Brush Symphony? Yeah. Oh, this is Sticker Brush Symphony, nope. isn't it? It is not, my good sir. What are you talking about? Isn't this Sticker Brush Symphony? No. It is not. This is the music from the beginning of the game. The next level we're playing is going to be the, the symphony. I think isn't Gerard this, might be right on isn't this Isn't this one. Bramble Blast? Oh, this isn't Bramble Blast. No. It's this not. is Slime Climb. Yeah. 
the fuck am I talking about? I don't know, man. Go back. I had the wrong page up. So when you were, when you were saying that shit, I was trying to think like, what the fuck are you talking about? There this we go. This is slimy ascension. I just clicked the next button on accident. Yeah, Sticker Bar Seventy is like, it's like a, it's like space, it's like atmospheric. Yeah. Sinking shipwreck, muddy climb, sliming ascension, climb slime in German. Switching climb it up. Climb slime. Switching it up. Switching it up. That's what happens is, you know, I, I get too into the notes and I don't look up at the fucking screen. Ramble Blast takes place in, like, spikes and, and grass. Yeah, literal brambles. Like a briar patch. I think I forget where the DK coin is in this one. In Slime Climb? I think it's towards the end of the stage. Underneath the exit. Yeah. There's an invincibility barrel in the corner. You can go, like, it's like between and then under it's like underneath the <gasps> oh no oh thank god it's underneath the uh get him no whoa what the get him. fuck was that oh no it's all right you got get him. It. nailed it Ooh, nailed almost it. lost that one nailed it i knew you Crunch were gonna time. do it i felt it i knew you were gonna do it you mean right here alex what yeah and then you go down and then, it's right there. Got it. Nailed it. That one banana. Got a banana. <laughs> Alright, remember all that shit that I just said about Br Bramble Blast? Yep. Yeah. That's about to happen. That's the next level? Yep. Oh, hold on, no! Swanky's bonus oh bonanza, here we flow. Oh my god, here we all go. Alright, let's see what I know. Alright, Funky's no. fun. Alright, no help unless it's... Off what can your, your snake buddy do that is special? Jump very high. Jump very high. Very high. What is the name of the level with the angler fish who helps you? I believe that's uh, Glimmer's Galleon. That's correct. All right. Uh, what is the name of the big muscle-bound crocodile who guards the toll bridge? That means that's gonna be Clubba, my dude. Give me that cash. Let's go on to the next one. Swampy swag. What lives do you start the game? Oh shit. Three. It's five. Oh no! It's five. It's five. It's my first one I got wrong. 17. What button do you press to team up? The A button. Team up button. Uh, Rhino's buddy, his name is Rambi. Rambi. <laughs> Bam Bam. Rambus is a great name for a rhino. Primate Prize. What is the name of the of this area of the island? Creme Que, I believe, is the yep. correct one. Creme Key. Uh, Parrot buddy, his name is Squawks. How many airplanes hang from the roof in the Kong College? Ooh. What the fuck? <sighs> I want to say four or two. Two? Yeah! I think. Good job, Alex. Hell yeah, fuck it. <laughs> and we're fucking done. <laughs> fuck you, Swanky. We'll see you later, man. Hey, you piece of shit. Thanks for the game show, bitch. We'll, we'll, see, you, we'll see you in a bit, <laughs> bitch. Fuck you, Swanky. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget who is here. Ramble Blast, are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Grant this Kirkhope. is Sticker Brush Symphony. This Grant is Kirkhope. fucking Sticker Brush Symphony. Yeah. Oh my god. This song, this level, I literally notoriously thought one of the most difficult the games or levels in the game. But also like a very it's unique so level. It's so rewarding and so unique. I love it. Uh, there's also a nighttime version of it, which I really like. And there's also like a towards the end of the game that uh uh like sunset version, which is tight. Do 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 Did we ever interview Grant about the song? We should we should just ask him about it next time. Dude, we'll ask him about it in our full length let's play of of ukulele that I still want to happen. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna commit Grant to that. Well I don't want to commit him to it, but I wanna ask him if he'll do it, because I bet you would be down. I think Grant has more important things to do, like actually compose music. Some people you know <laughs> it's true, but you know what? Like sometimes it's fun to just Come hang out with the beer bros, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's chill. Do, 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 do. There's a version of this in Tropical Freeze. Really? Yeah. And actually, Dave Wise actually wrote this song. Not Grant Kirkhope. I thought Grant did this one. Nah, it's the water level song. 
Oh, he did the water level song. This, I this, thought he had that Grant did no, this one. No, this is the water level song. It was composed by David Wise. No, Grant did like Game Boy music or something for Donkey Kong. Too. Oh, he did the game. He did the the Game Boy version of it. Either way, I love Grant and Dave. <laughs> the whole point of Beer Bros is to have really good trivia, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be right all the time. Hey, it's alternative we're, trivia. Yeah, alternative we're pretty, trivia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good though. I'm a little nervous. I'm starting to get a little lost because I think there's a little area where you can like branch off and go towards a secret. I always used to imagine when I used to play this level that the barrels were like looking around. Should I go over here? Here? Here, here, here we go. Yeah, there it is. What a scary thing. A bonus barrel that shoots down. <laughs> the barrel shit? Like, say what you will about the Retro Studios games, which I think are worthy successors. I think they're quite good. I think they're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it definitely isn't the same, which is I'm okay with. Yeah, it's not the same, but like, here's the thing. Like, they really did the barrel shit right in those games. They did. That shit was like this to the max. Yeah. Uh oh. You're doing fine, just stay calm. I feel like they captured the spirit of these games very yeah. well. Like they it's like a great like you know, same crew, different rules. Right. Do you know where it is? Where are we going? Oh, oh! <laughs> the clock hit the zero. Fuck out of here. Fuck that. <laughs> that one was for Swanky. Fuck you, Swanky. Fuck you. <laughs> Quick shout out to Swanky Kong. Fuck that guy. <laughs> hey, he's just trying to get by with his trivia his, his, show. His, his, you know what? From one trivia show to another, I get you. Yeah. You're right. We should be more appreciative of Swanky Kong. You're right. <sighs> this is always a little nerdy. Tommy's not good under King K. Rule. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Biggest industry? Sneakers. Sneakers. For spiders. <laughs> Sneakers, bandanas, <laughs> cannons, like, pe peg legs, barrels. Let's let's really not a discount barrels. Economy oh, barrels here. are like the biggest one. Yeah. Barrels yeah. are a huge deal. Ships, Barrel industry is big. Shipbuilding. Probably bee stings, let's be real. Or wasps, <laughs> whatever the fuck those are. Like, like minute clinics. Yeah. I got a bee sting. <laughs> <laughs> Minute clinics. <laughs> you guys want to hear a funny sort of like cultural story about minute clinics? Oh my god, guys, look at this shit. What? So you oh, guys, so yeah, we, so mind. we know I'm Matt wrong. Tilby. He's fed us Vegemite on here before. He's our Australian friend. Yes. Yeah, we know Tilby. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to get everybody in the right mindset in the in the in the audience who may not remember who that is. So he came to hang out. Uh, recently but he also came last year and when he was here last year he had like some kind of ear issue or something so we had to go to a minute clinic and then he, he he you know the thing about america that everybody remembers when they're traveling is that you like like you always remember at restaurants that you got a tip and stuff yeah uh he tried to tip the doctor <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they appreciated that i'm sure like it, like, I'm sure, I don't know, I, I wouldn't, I, mean, I don't remember if she took it or not. I don't think she's allowed to, but I would have if I was the fucking doctor. I'd be like, oh shit. That's like when somebody tips you, like when I used to work at Blockbuster, somebody tip you, I'd be like, I can't take tips, but like, I'll take that tip. <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to do this. Yeah, I'll take Disneyland it. has a three, a three tip policy. You have to offer it three times before they say yes. That's tight. It's a good you rule. You have to say... Can I give you a tip? No, thank you. Are you sure? No, thank you. Are you sure? Fine. I'm good. It's like the Are Austin sure? Powers yes. rule of tipping. The Will Ferrell and Austin Powers rule of tipping. <laughs> What's his name? You know what I'm talking about? In the movie? Yeah, I remember he like he's like Will Ferrell With plays the Fez? like Yeah. I don't, like, I don't remember Who his do you name. work for? I'm never going to tell you. Who do you work for? I'll never tell. Who do you work for? Damn it! That was my secret rule. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh. Clean. Squawks. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. It was tight. Whatever it was. It's like something. I, that I, I may have missed something. Oh, I can't go back now. What? 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 
Is he just like vomiting up these? Fun fact. Or you can just chill here. Yeah. As long as, it, as long as you're not you're just like, hitting oh. it with squawks. Oh, oh. Squawks can't handle it. Oh. There's the coin. Hell yeah. That was the main thing you needed, right? Yeah, I might have missed a barrel, but we'll find out in a second. I don't think you did. I think there's only one. I think there's two. I'll check. <laughs> Woo! Careful. Yo, I totally made out with that bee. Here we go. I found it. So I was right. Find the token. How is that not like the hottest R&B track right now? That song? Yeah. Right now? I mean, it was like a few years ago. What? Which one? Like when this Fucking game came out? Sticker Bros. Yeah. Symphony? I mean, like, uh, you could like, like actually remixed? do like, like a top 40 pop song. Go listen to Youngtown's rap of it. It's really good. Bam. Bam. Hell yeah. Crushing this playthrough. Please, no birds. Boom. Sick. See? Left-handed. Do you know why? Probably? Probably because Jimi Hendrix is left-handed. You think so? That's Maybe. why? I don't know. Guys, this has been great. It's Norm, been fucking being here. You're gonna, yeah, be, you're gonna stick around for two more, I think? Yep. Queet. Great. Great. Queet. 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 No, no. Queet, you guys. See you guys next, later. Next, next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros. We're Queef. gonna do a uh, cudgels contest. Yep. Alright, bye. Queef is a fart from your vagina. Oh. Goodbye.